Hello, good afternoon, it's Bini here. Today, we're going to update important things about STI. Probably in my previous webinar, you heard of this horizontal line or the neckline of the head and shoulder pattern. And perhaps that, you know, in newspaper, you heard me talk about it. And today, today, that neckline has been broken. All right, so I'll be talking about the importance of this neckline and what other lines that you should be paying attention to, All right, for STI and what's the implication going forward. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this is a chart of STI. So what is that neckline I was talking about for STI? And it is to connect somewhere around here to all the low points here. All right, so where are the low points that I've connected? So it would be here, this point, and then this point, and then this point, and then this point. Obviously, you can see today STI broke below this neckline. Now, we also want to know how long is this duration because it's important to us to know how long is this head and shoulder pattern. Right, so let's point out where is the head and shoulder pattern. Number one, if you look at your body structure, so that's the head, and the two left side, left and right, will be your shoulder. So the pattern resembles a shoulder, a head, and as well as the shoulder. Alright, so we are able to look at this pattern here to look at all the lows here and to connect a line and which is what I've done here and we call this a neckline. Okay, now the, the confirmation of this head and shoulder pattern is when price fall below this neckline. Now, however, one thing that you need to take note, although this is, this is a theory and this theory has been quite well known, Okay, one of the things you need to take note is that we want to know the duration of this pattern. Alright, so I'm going to use a measurement tool to measure into how long or what's the period of this pattern because the longer the period would be, alright, and if there's a drop, the, the more that impact would be. Now, right now, this is a 532 days pattern. So it's not 53, but it's 532 days, which means that it's essentially about a two-year pattern. All right, or maybe if you look at where it first started was in April 2021 and right now will be in October 2022. So this is a one and a half year pattern. Now is one and a half year pattern, you know, um, resulting in a big move or is it a huge pattern? The answer is yes. Of course, it is not uh, more than, uh, let's say, a 10 year pattern. But one and a half year pattern, if it's broken, is going to cause quite a huge drop. All right, then, um, if right now the neckline is broken, all right, of course, we have to wait for the week to close, but today is Thursday, the week is almost going to close, then there will be one important level you want to take note of. So I'm going to highlight to you that one important level. Okay, one important level would be this level here, which is this one, which is a historical low recently in this one and a half year meaning that the market is giving a little bit of a tolerance all right to the price movement by considering that price might be supported into this horizontal level here apart from the neckline meaning that right now the neckline has been broken right then therefore we will be having a bit of a support into the horizontal level all right then how do you know that this support will not be valid. Very important, we need to observe the price uh, movement here. Now, what kind of price movement are we observing? Right. If the market is genuinely going to break and make this pattern true, then price might show a little bit of a support into the horizontal level at about 3035. Right. But if price moves up to get resisted into this particular neckline here, and it doesn't close up, but in fact, right, it actually closed down below, get resisted. So therefore, this whole junction here is going to be a resistance. And then this is a very, very strong clue to tell us, in fact, that this breakout, which is this close below the neckline, is true. All right. So we're going to observe to see whether uh, around 3,090 to 3,100 is going to be a strong resistance. And at the same time, whether the 3,035 level, which is this particular support level, would be broken eventually again. 
Okay, so these are the two numbers you want to look out for and these are the things that you want to take note when you are trading into STI. Now in the next video, which I'm going to release, we're going to talk about if this pattern, which is this head and shoulder pattern, is going to be true, then uh, how much will STI drop? Okay, so do watch out for the next video. And if you want to be notified, remember to subscribe to my channel at the same time to click that little bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I launch a new video.